Hey yo, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for September 2nd, 2020. The character is the silent, and the modifiers are draft. Draft a custom starting deck of cards. Red cards, red cards, champion rewards and shops. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. So with a green and red cards, my favorite combination is going to be after image and juggernaut. Let's see if we can get that to work. So I'm probably not going to go for the popper modifier because I will try to get that to work. All right, so first of all, well-aid plants is great. Dagger throw is pretty good too, but I think I'll go with well-aid plants here. Um, True grit for solid defense. I would like to get that upgraded. Blur is good, and I think after this I should focus on attack. Okay, fine, shrug it off. And now I'll focus on attack cards. So cleave is good, headbutt is good. Let's go with the cleave, some AoE. Sever soul would help with curses. Actually, flying knee is a safer choice. Body slam is interesting. I could make this a, a defensive deck, and I do have a good amount of block cards, especially with terminal too. Um, yeah, let me take body slam here. Piercing well is great. Yep. All right, and now continuing to focus on offense. Pummel strike is good. Actually, was pummel strike? Yeah, it's just a little better than quick slash, right? Rupture probably. Yeah, I don't think rupture is necessary. And I already have a pummel strike, so let's take a havoc here. I already have the flying knee, so wild strike. Um, now I'll take a headbutt. And then do I want a riddle with holds? Uh, it's only going to be useful if I get extra strength. And no, let's take slice here. I'll take an anger or footwork. Actually, footwork is not a bad idea either. And finisher, I don't think I have enough attack for finisher to be really useful. Let's go with the acrobatics. All right, sort of a weird deck. I think I ended up with too many defensive cards in the beginning. So I have one, two, three four uh five yeah i guess i have five cards maybe that's not that much five cards that only give us defense or help with defense and then the rest is offense with the exception of havoc while it plants and acrobatics i think this is a well well balanced deck yeah i thought i went with too much defense but i think it's overall pretty good balanced all right so only one elite path on this whole act sadly uh let me try to maximize question marks there's a path with four five Five question marks, no, six. So if I go this way, this question mark, and then elite shop, and then another five after that. I think that's the path with the most question marks, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Also a shop right after the first elite, that should help. I wonder if I should, hang on, if I go this way, I'll have the shop before the first elite. But no, no, I think it's better to do the shop after. Also, I feel like I have enough block at this point that I should be fine against the elite, especially with the terminal modifier. All right, let me do slice and uh, eh, sure, let's do wild strike. Mm -hmm. All right, seven incoming. Uh, I don't think I can kill here, right? Seventeen. Yeah, I should be fully defended though. Um, let's just do true grit. Okay. I should get that true grit upgrade as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's pretty useless without it. Without the upgrade. All right, we've got a skill potion, backflip, cloak and dagger, and sever soul. I'll take a cloak and dagger. Okay. All right, so sp uh, slimes here. Uh, cleave is good. Let me do cleave slice. Okay, and then um, I kind of want to do true grit and body slam. Yep. Actually, flying these better, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm probably overthinking this. This this first act should be relatively simple. Blurge, um, and then Wild Strike kills, okay. All right, Flex Potion, Headbutt, Heavy Blade, or Seeing Red. Seeing Red is not a bad idea. I do have enough card draw, and I already have Headbutt. I will try to go for the Highlander modifier. Let's take the Seeing Red. Heavy Blade is not that great if I don't have any strength, which I don't have, although I do have a Flex Potion, but I don't want to have uh, two energy costs just for that one potion. Let's do Seeing Red, Footwork. Uh, blur is fine. Cloak and Dagger, Slice, and Shiv. Uh, you know what? Let me do True Grid, too. Now, if I get a Body Slam, that should do a lot of damage. Uh, yep. So I can kill you and you. Mm -hmm. All right. Flying Knee, Dropkick, True Grid. I already have these two. I don't think I want to take Dropkick. I don't have any source of vulnerability yet, right? So it doesn't really make much sense. Okay. All right. Gain gold for some HP. That's fine. And then here... Uh, can I draw my um let me try to draw the cleef there it is okay so that will kill only one of them unfortunately um all right let's do cleef and then um yeah let's just do piercing well not take any damage this turn and then i should be able to kill the others fairly easily 
Mm -hmm. Another 15. Let's do Sing Red Blur, Cloak and Dagger. Slice kills you, Shift kills you. Okay. Yeah, I'm overthinking this. This should be very, uh, very straightforward. All right. Okay, backflip, anger, reckless charge. I kind of am afraid that the upcoming um, elite might be the gremlin knob, in which case I don't want to take backflip, but it is a generally good card, and I will use both my potions. Okay, it's not the gremlin knob. That's good. So, let's do backflip, blur, and then probably body slam, or flying knee. No, let's do body slam. So, slice, body slam. And then I'm waiting for a, a turn with a lot of attack cards so I can use the flex potion. Okay. Yeah, this might be it. So let me do seeing red. Um, what do I have here? There is a cleave upcoming. I should probably use the flex potion with the cleave. No, let's use it now. I think there's a high chance I would draw it. Um, shrug it off. And, well, wild strike at least kills. Let me play havoc. It did not play the cleave. All right, great. Well, I am still fully defended, right? So uh, let me just do the wild strike on you. So that was a little bit of a waste of a uh, steroid potion, but it's fine. All right, another nine. Yeah, there's a cleave a little too late. Let's do cleave. Actually, I think I'm going to headbutt the, um, the cleave back. Let me do cloak and dagger headbutt. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's headbutt the... Uh, actually, no, let me headbutt the Cloak and Dagger, just because I'm afraid I might not be able to fully defend next turn. So let's play, play it safe. Okay. Alright, well, I was able to fully defend either way, but still. Um, so then let's do Cloak and Dagger, Havoc, place a Daste, uh-huh, Wild Strike, and should be... Well, you know what, let's do this, that way I don't... I, I'm almost guaranteed to be, to be perfecting this one. All right, don't... Actually, I could do backflip and... Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Backflip, blur, slice and body... Oh, I can't do the body slam. That's fine. I am fully defended here. Yeah, I'm just paying it a little carefully. I want to make sure I, I am perfecting. Yesterday, I think I was less careful and wasn't able to perfect anything. We got Eternal Feather for every five cards in your deck. Heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site, as well as... Well, I'm definitely not going for the popper modifier, right? Malaise is pretty good. Who's my final boss here? Um, yeah, it's not that bad against the Guardian either. Let's take the Malaise. Metallic says it would be better for that uh, after a Juggernaut combo I was thinking about, but I'm not there yet. Um, Prismatic Shard is not that great. Actually, these uh, relics are a little too expensive. I think I'd rather take cards, although the cards are not that great either. Yeah, not seeing anything amazing. Maybe I should just take a Relic Singbo. When I encourage into a deck, you may raise your extra by two instead. That will help offset the effects of Terminal a little bit. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. All right, and then, uh, yeah, I still have five question marks going this way. Uh, all right, there's curse number one as well as potion belt. I'll pick up, gain two potion slots. Okay. And then here I got art of war. If you do not play any attacks in your turn, gain additional energy next turn. And uh, another curse. I should try to go for the curse modifier, right? So, yeah, let's go for another curse rather than another relic. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, three more question marks. Actually, rather than a rest site, no, I should upgrade. So both the malaise and the uh, true grid would require an upgrade. So let's go for a rest site here. Okay. So upgrade, probably the malaise first and then the true grid. Okay. Yeah, the upgrade malaise will help a lot against the guardian and a lot on uh, enemies on act two. Okay, well, I don't want to give up the rare card, even though it'll give me max HP. So let's maybe give up. Should I give up the True Grid? I don't really want to give up anything here. Um, Alright, well, I can't decide. Uh, maybe just a basic attack. So, yeah, maybe Wild Strike. It is a strong attack card, but the wound does bother me a little bit. So, it's probably the card I like least of my deck. Alright, let's do Shrug It Off. Hope that the True Grid doesn't hit the Body Slam. It did not, and I can do a Body Slam here. Alright. Okay, another 16. Uh, let's do Seeing Red Acrobatics. Uh, probably don't need the Malaise here. Let's do Blur, Havoc, Place a Flying Knee, and uh, Backflip. Actually, I'm going to take the damage this way, right? That's fine. One damage is acceptable, especially since I lose one max HP anyway. Oh, no, mind, I have the Regret. Actually, here I can do... Uh, I can't do Malaise and True Grid at the same time. Let me do True Grid. Okay, fine. I'm going to take a little bit extra damage with the Regret there. 
He's going to split at 35, right? Uh, and I'm weakened here. Can I do... Let's see. Backflip. Should have done the footwork, actually. Havoc place a cleave. Okay. And then I can headbutt... Probably the... Uh, oh, cleave got exhausted. All right. Well, I don't want any of these. Let's take Havoc. Sure. Okay. Not the best split. I guess I am lacking strong damage cards. That's my biggest problem here. Blur, a slice and shiv. Okay. Yeah, I need like a predator or a bludgeon or something. Something that will deal a lot of damage. Uh, Alright, let's do acrobatics. Uh, body slam. Yeah, the weakness is also bothering me quite a bit. Let's do well-aid plants. Okay. So the fact that it's taking me forever to kill this guy means that um, it's also going to be much harder to um, finish this fight in under uh, one hour. Let me keep the backflip again. Okay. Actually, with the footwork, the body sum should be better. I guess I, it just took me forever to play that footwork. All right, let's do backflip blur. Um, headbutt does not yet kill. Let's do Havoc for a slime. Okay, and then I'll do Headbutt. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll keep a Shrug it off for next turn. Yeah, I should get that well-aid plants upgraded. That would be nice, too. All right, so now I'm not weakened, right? Uh, okay, let me do Shrug it off. Then Body Slam Slice. Slice first, then Havoc, actually. And then Body Slam. All right. Should be in a better position here. 13 is very doable. Um, headbutt, um, body slam, backflip to kill. All right. Took me way too long, this fight. I already have these two. You know what? Here, I think I'll take the max HP. I don't think I'm, I'm going for a poison deck. And then heal or remove a card. I don't need to heal, and I don't think I need to remove anything either. So let's just leave this one without spending any gold. And then here, I should probably upgrade that true grid, right? Or the footwork. Piercing Whale, lots of good options. Let's upgrade the True Good first. Especially against the um, a lot of enemies on Act 2 and 3, there'll be uh, status cards I would like to get rid of. Or, you know, Curses. Let's do True Grid, The Regret. And then Slice. What do I want to Headbutt? Probably Headbutt another Slice. Yeah, let's do Body Slam and then Headbutt the Slice. All right. Can I do 16 damage this turn? Seems doable. Yep. And um, let's do a malaise. Actually, no. Let me do... Well, hang on. Next turn he's attacking for... Yeah, I think I'll well eat plants and keep the malaise for next turn. And then that way, he's attacking for 9. I'll be able to subtract, yeah, quite a bit of strength. Actually, with seeing red, it's going to be even more than that, right? Yeah, perfect. So I think that should allow me to be basically fully defended now. All right. Two incoming. I am fine against that. Let's do footwork. I don't even need Blur here, right? Uh, let's do Cleave. I messed up. I completely messed up. I'm going to reload because because I didn't realize I was going to take some damage. I didn't have any block. I was so excited by the fact that the Malaise um, didn't do any... Or basically made me intangible that I completely messed that up. Alright, I'm going to. I'm not going to show this. I'll, I'll play this really quickly. I'll try to do everything the same. And I'll be right back. Alright, yeah, this is the turn where I messed up. So let me actually get some block and then I can do maybe cloak and dagger uh, is there anything I want to headbutt actually maybe another blur sure headbutt the blur and then shiv okay yeah that was really dumb if I had if I had not noticed it I would have been really dumb and I would have lost the perfect because of that all right let's true good the parasite actually very good blur and then body slam okay actually let's do a slice too why not I'll keep the acrobatics okay okay and then here, let me do acrobatics. I'm trying to draw the body slam again. That didn't happen. That's fine. Um, yeah, I can't decide here. Let's do pummel strike. And uh, I don't think I can get him to split here, right? So let's just do shrug it off. Sure. Ah, there's the body slam. A little too late for that. Uh, let me... I am still intangible, so let's do something like flying knee for extra energy next turn. Okay. Two incoming. Let's do blur. Flying knee, true grid, the cleave, and then slice. Okay. Yeah, this is my problem. It's just taking me forever to deal damage. I guess unless the body slam gets stronger. Let's do backflip and cloak and dagger. Shrug it off and then body slam for 40. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'll keep the acrobatics. 
Okay. Alright, another zero incoming. Uh, let's do shrug it off. True grit the um I'll get rid of the flying knee and then body slam. Okay. I'll keep the acrobatics again. Yeah, if I get a uh what's the card that gives you uh thorns? I forget. Something with a C for the silent. That would be pretty good in this deck, I think. Alright, let's do slice, headbutt the um body slam again. And then uh, I could play it with Havoc, but you know what? Why not? Okay. And then next turn, I'll just need um, 17 block, which seems doable. Oh, 17 damage, I mean. Slice, and then yeah, let's headbutt. Uh, pummel strike again. And then I'll True Grid the Havoc. Okay. I guess with True Grid, my deck is getting pretty thin, so I could get an infinite going if I keep doing this for a while. But hopefully... I'll be able to deal more damage quickly. Let's headbutt the uh, card back. Okay. Um, I'm actually... Well, hang on. Let's do the Cloak and Dagger here. Yeah, 21 damage. Just need a little bit extra. Let me True Grid the... Um, I guess this, sure. Pummel Strike. Slice. And then um, Blur. Okay. Just need the Body Slam to kill next turn. All right, yeah, this is taking me forever. What is it, 15 minutes already for just Act 1? I'll get there. All right, Corruption, Phantasmal Killer, or Barricade? Barricade could be really strong. Um, especially with the Body Slam, I think I should go with the Barricade here. Let's do it. Should also try to upgrade that. So Calling Bell will give me three Relics and one Curse. Calling a Curse Key will give me at least two Curses. The extra energy would also be nice. Black Star would give me a bunch of extra Relics. So this is a tough choice, um, but I think if I'm going to... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's go with the Calling Bell. I'm big up to a unique curse and three relics. Uh, tough decision. Because if I don't see enough curses, I'll be mad at myself. I think it's also safer, though, because the curse key might give me a duplicate, and I'm trying to get for the Highlander modifier. Yeah, let's take the Calling Bell here. All right, got Curse of the Bell as well as Mob Bank. Whenever you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Matreshka, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. And Fossilized Helix prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat, which is unfortunate because I do have the Regret, so that'll probably get rid of that um, Helix charge. All right, so one, two, two Elite Paths. One, two, Early Shop. Three, four, five, six question marks I see. Is there a path with more? No, I think that's the best best path, right? And the early shop is a bonus. Or I can skip the early shop and go for um, just a regular fight instead. Uh, yeah, let's get there first. Okay. So hopefully, I'll just need two more curses. Ideally, two unique curses. So hopefully, I'll be able to get there. Let's do Pummel Strike. Shrug it off. I also hope that the lack of energy is not going to be a big problem. Although, yeah, that could be... Curse Key might have been the right choice there. Hard to say. All right, let's do Blur. I should have done the footwork first, right? Let me do this. Okay. All right, I have a little bit of block here. Let's do Seeing Red, um, Flying Knee Slice, Acrobatics. Okay. Uh, do I want to play Barricade? Probably not. I don't think I have the energy for that. Let's do Cleave, Havoc, and then Body Slam. Oof. Not the card I wanted to get exhausted, unfortunately. All right, and then uh, I might have to do the barricade, actually, because otherwise I'm afraid I won't be able to deal enough damage. Um, let's do well it plans and true grit. Okay, and keep the bear, the backflip. Yeah, clearly I'm not playing the barricade. With three energy, it's actually a little hard to. Cloak and dagger. Okay. Let's take the cleave. 32 or 33 damage. Can I do that? Mm hmm cleave, blur, flying knee. All right. Well, might as well keep this. All right, 27. And you know what? Let me just get rid of it. I'm just never going to play it. Let me try to kill instead. Havoc place a cloak and dagger. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, 14. I can do this. Okay, never mind. I can't do this. Maybe if I draw something better. Uh, no, that's not 14. All right, that's fine. Uh, I need damage cards. That's really what I need. 20. Okay, this is doable. Uh, finally, rough fight. 
All right, Hemogonesis, Heavy Blade. Well, speaking of damage cards, Hemogonesis would be a damage card, but I think I'll go with the Dagger Throw here. That way I don't lose HP. Okay. Maybe Wild Strike. Maybe removing that was not the right idea. All right, let's do True Grit, the Parasite. Sure. And then Flying Knee Cleave and Slice. Okay. Mm -hmm. 12 incoming. Let's do Shrug It Off, Backflip, Cloak and Dagger, and then Body Slam. All right. Losing my buffer, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, Malaise is pretty good here. With the extra energy, too, that's going to be... Yeah, allows me to fully defend, and then next turn I can play the um, the Barricade. Yeah, I think that's my strategy, basically. Play the Barricade and then rely on the... Um, what do you call it? Um, body Slam. Okay. And I guess the Footwork will help, too. All right, zero incoming. Um, let's do backflip, shrug it off. Uh, well aid plants. Actually, Havoc is going to play. Well, it's definitely going to play a defensive card. Okay. And then let's do body slam and shiv. All right. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this means that the fights will take much longer, but I think it's fine. Uh, let's do Havoc again. All right. Blur also is less useless, uh, useful now if I have barricade. Free incoming. Yeah, basically now I'm just waiting for body slams to show up again. All right, uh, let's do dagger throw and then body slam. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's strike out maneuver quick slash. Let's take quick slash. I don't have one and uh, I do need damage. Uh, this would get rid of my Highlander modifier and I think I kind of want to keep it. Would also help with damage, but I don't think I need that many cards. Okay, so let me do cleave acrobatics. Get rid of this, all right. Seeing red, blur, and flying knee. Okay, not a bad opener. All right, 19 incoming. There's a barricade. Um, I am fully defended here. Yeah, let's do barricade. And actually, if I do shrug it off, I'll keep my buffer as well. Or oh, actually, cloak and dagger works too, right? Yep, that way I can get one extra attack in. Okay. Unfortunately, this guy makes me um, frail. Which is not great, but uh, let's do Slice, Dagger, Throw. Um, and then here I think I'll True Grit the backup, Backflip and then kill you. Okay, that way I'm still fully defended. And then Malay, sadly, I don't have that many debuffs I'm realizing. Let's do Quick Slash, Dagger, Throw. And... Um, I guess I'll do a malaise. No, let's do a zero cost malaise. So let me do well aid plants and then malaise. Okay, so now I'm actually taking five damage here. Okay. All right, 20 incoming. Uh, piercing whale, I mean, might as well, right? Let's do blur, piercing whale, and cleave. Oh, I am taking more damage than I thought I would. And I, with the frailty, I can't really accumulate block either. 10 incoming. I might have to drink my potion here. So I'm not feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm in a good spot. I still have a lot of damage to do. Uh, let me see what I get here. Second win, spot weakness, phantasmal killer. Actually, second win is a pretty good idea. Gives me block, it gets rid of the regret. And then I can get a uh, body slam back, sure. Okay. 20 incoming. Shrug it off. Cloak and dagger. True grid, the parasite. Shiv and body slam. All right. I don't need the dazed. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm not frail anymore, which is really good. Although I need a little bit of extra block. Thank you. Shift, quick slash, body slam. Okay, rough fight there. We got a fire potion, heal hook, berserk, or headbutt. Definitely not berserk. I don't have enough weakness for heal hook. I guess it's except for the malaise. Let's just take the max HP here. Okay. And then let's do one more crush mark. Uh, definitely not losing all of my gold here. Especially since I should have a pretty good chance against these guys. Oh, can't play the barricade, unfortunately. Let's do... Let's see what the Havoc plays. Let's see him red. Okay, that's fine. I can do... A slice Flying Knee. I will throw the Fire Potion. And then I'll do Well Aid Plants and Headbutt uh, you. And I'll probably get something like Havoc back. back. Okay. I'll keep the barricade, sure. I'm going to lose a bunch of decks, though. I have a footwork that should counteract that effect. Let's do that. And then Cloak and Dagger, 
Havoc, which plays a blur. Good. So that way I'll keep my... Um, let me actually do Body Slam here. I'll keep my... Uh, well, I don't lose any HP. I'll have my uh, buffer. Okay. All right. Much more incoming. Cleave. Uh, yeah, I can kill the Frontliner, but we'll take a bunch of damage, which is fine. Let me do Dagger Throw first. Piercing one. No, let's just do... Um, actually, I could have done the Piercing one, right? Maybe I'll do True Grid instead. Yeah. Okay. Not taking too much damage this way. Mm -hmm. Another nine. Malaise will help. Let's do backflip and then probably just Malaise. Okay. Keep the body slam. Mm -hmm. 11. Um, so here I'll do Havoc for Flying Knee. Okay. Cloak and Dagger. Shiv. Body slam and headbutt. Oh, I didn't realize I had. I um, thought I still have five later armor. With four, I'm actually taking one more damage here. All right, four incoming. Slice dagger throw. Okay, acrobatics. All right, um, another dagger throw. Yep. Okay, we got a red mask. I saw each combat. Apply one weak to all enemies. As well as a gambler's brew and a twin strike. No, I think I'll go with max HP again here. Okay. All right, gremlin leader. Um, I do have one Gambler Spree, which is not going to be really enough. Let's do Seeing Red. Um, can I kill one of them? Well, I can kill one of them. I, ideally, I would kill both. Okay, let's see what the Havoc plays. Actually, hang on. Headbutt and Flying E17, right? Let's do that. Let me not risk it. I'll take a Dagger Throw here. Okay. Alright, he is not attacking good. Uh, do I want to do a Malaise, or do I want to try to get the... Uh, the uh, barricade might be better. Do I still have the... I still have a regret in here, right? Let me do... Hmm. Let me just do a big malaise. Yeah, that should help. Okay. He is attacking. And there's a barricade here. Uh, can I kill this guy? What's left in the deck? Um, I could do... No, let me do shrug it off. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Uh, can I kill this guy? So 5 plus 4 is 9. I'll need one more attack. Um, let me do Slice and Cloak and Dagger. And then I think I need... Yeah, I need to fish for the Cleave and True Grit. That should be enough. Let's do that. That way I'll still keep my buffer, which I think is a good idea too. Alright, let's do Cleave. Okay. And then I have 14. I'm actually fully defended here, right? Yeah, so let me do food work instead of the true grid, okay? Alright. Backland is summoning. Uh, so let's do well aid plants, flying knee. And then I have to do both slice and shiv. Okay, shrug it off to see what I get. Okay, true grid. I'll definitely hang on to this. Mm -hmm. He is attacking again, luckily for not that much. Okay, piercing well is good. Um, I still don't have a barricade out, right? I could actually just do True Grit. Let's do that. True Grit the Parasite, Cleave, and then Dagger Throw. Okay. I should have played a Cloak and Dagger. Uh, let me keep the Piercing Wall. That'll be ne useful next time the Backliner decides to attack. Okay, I think I have to do Barricade here. Which is unfortunate because now I can't really deal damage to the Frontliner, but let's keep the Piercing Wall. I have a buffer in case the Frontliner decides to attack and I can't kill. Okay, yeah, he is. The backliner is attacking too. Um, can I kill here 12? He has 22, right? So let me do quick slash, see what I get. Slice. Okay, so I can kill with the body slam and then fully defend with the piercing well. Okay. All right, so far so good. And now um, I'll just need to get game block and then play the body slam. I think this was pretty good then. All right, uh, let's do shrug it off. Uh, dagger throw. Uh, let me play the true grid, get rid of the blur. Okay. And I'll keep the headbutt. Alright. Okay, there's a regret, uh, which I would like to get rid of. Alright. And then dagger throw is only nine. Uh, let me see if I can draw something better. Oof. Um, I think I can kill some of them, right? Let's do dagger throw and slice. Okay, I'll keep the true grid. Alright, uh, unfortunately I weakened though. 
Okay, what is the... Wait, yeah, there's the body sum. I was gonna say, where is it? Um, Let's do True Grit the... Mm, probably not the Cleave, right? Let's get rid of the Flying Knee. Alright, 41. Yeah, it's not as much damage as I hoped it would be. Let's just do Cleave and Body Slam then. Okay. Still have 60 block, which is fine, but I'm not dealing damage fast enough. Oh, and now I have a lot of incoming here. Um, let's do Acrobatics. I am fully defended. I'm not too worried, but yeah, Body Slam should help. I should probably get rid of a minion, right? No, let me do Body Slam... Um, hang on, 39. Yeah, I think I can just kill by doing Body Slam and Headbutt. Oh no, I can't because I won't have any block left next turn. I'm getting there though. Hopefully, I'll also be weakened thanks to the Fat Gremlin. No, I think this should be enough, right? 15, 6, yeah, I think that's enough. Alright, close fight here. But did get it in the end. And yeah, I still have my buffer charge too, so that's good. Alright, we've got Incense Burner. Every six turns gain one intangible, as well as Reaper, Poison, Stab, or Juggernaut. Well, if I'm trying to get the Aftermath Juggernaut combination, I should probably take that Juggernaut. Alright, for the second lead, I think going on this path gives me two more question marks. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. I don't really have two energy attack cards yet, right? Neuler's Codex is fine. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of three random cards into your draw pile. That might give me an Aftermath, actually. Alright, let's do Regular Fight or Shop. Um, do I have a guaranteed Shop upcoming here? No, but I don't think I need it yet. Yeah, I'd rather have more gold before I go for a shop. Could I have gotten on the left? No, I think this is fine. Alright, so let's do hmm, let's do barricade and then malaise. That way I don't take any damage and I'll have uh, I'll start off with the barricade. Okay. Oh, wait, how did I take Wait, he was attacking for five times two, and then with a negative one strength it was four times two, and then still with weakness went down to Oh, was, he was weakened. Alright, yeah, that was weird. I thought I wouldn't have taken wait, did I take Hang on. I'm very confused. How did I not take damage? Oh, I had my buffer, right. Okay. Mystery soft. All right, let's do footwork, backflip. And then seeing red, acrobatics, get rid of the regret. And yeah, just cleave. Okay. None of these, probably. Unfortunately, I'll be hex, which might be annoying, actually, because I do play a lot of skills. Um, let's true grid the parasite, shrug it off, and then body slam. Okay. A uh, thousand cuts may not be a bad idea, actually. Nah, I might not be able to play it. It's too expensive, right? Um, hang on, hang on. So I definitely want to do Seeing Red Juggernaut. And then um, let's kill you. Okay, that's fine, yeah. So I wasn't able to play the uh, thousand cuts, which is okay. Mm -hmm, another 13. I'm almost fully defending against that. Let me see if I can draw. Yeah, I can draw full defense. All right, backflip and then body slam. Okay. Um, none of these. Yeah, this guy was just attacking every turn. Will he give me a break? Oh, at least I'm intangible this turn. All right, let's do quick slash, shrug it off. And I was kind of hoping to get something that allowed me to discard the regret, but I didn't. Let's take the body slam. And an after image. There it is. Mm -hmm. 13. Let's do after image, pummel strike, and body slam. All right. We got a Poison Potion, Ghostly Armor, Dark Embrace, or Skewer. Skewer would help with damage, but I think I'll just go for the Ghostly Armor. Okay. And then here I got Strawberry. I'm going pick up Brace to make sure we buy 7. Very useful. As well as Bob Tornado. I'm pick up, choose a Power Card, so I just come with this card in your hand. That probably has to be the Barricade, right? Yeah. The sooner I can get that out, I think the sooner I can uh, guarantee a perfect against enemies. Just need extra energy on my first turn. That would be nice. Uh... This fight might not take long enough for the uh, bear kid to be useful, but I think I should still play it. Yeah, so now just having energy in the first turn is important. Or just having energy in general. Wait, who's my boss here? Oh, okay. I was trying to think if I should get the instance burner to his particular value, but I don't think it matters too much in with this boss. Alright, let's do cloak and dagger, backflip, and, uh, uh, well, let's do shrug it off, sure. I can do shiv. Yeah, maybe, well, Impervious is great. Maybe getting a footwork played would also be nice. Okay. All right, 27 incoming. Yeah, I can just do Impervious and uh, Body Slam or Dagger Spray. Let's do Body Slam. Okay. Um, Lace is fine. There was my buffer charge, unfortunately. All right, 36. Um, let's do Seeing Red Juggernaut. Dagger Throw. Okay. 
Um, and then, yeah, I think I'll just do the true grid here. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Intangible this turn. So let's do backstab, dagger spray, piercing well, and lace. I'm not sure why I played that piercing well. That was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's a lot of incoming. Corpse explosion does it though. All right. True Grid, Sword Boomerang, Body Slam. I already have these two, and I don't think I need a True Grid, uh, uh, whatever the other card was. So let's just take the Max HP. Okay, this is a good event. I think I should be fine here. Second fight might be a little rough. And I actually probably don't want to play the Bear Kid here. Uh, let me also throw the Poison Push, and I realize I'm a little low on HP. So do I want to do Juggernaut, Cloak, and Dagger? Hang on. Um... No, I think I'll... Well, Juggernaut will help. I think that's the only way I can sort of guarantee being able to kill without dying. Um, let's take none of these. Okay. Alright, losing my buffer there. 15 incoming. Uh, slice, no defensive cards. That's a rare event here. Uh, let me see if the Havoc gives me anything good. Okay, Blur at least helps me a little. Ghostly Armor is good. I think next turn this guy is going to make me vulnerable, right? Which might be a problem. But luckily, he's almost as good as dead. Let's do Ghostly Armor. Shrug it off. I'm hoping the Juggernaut will kill. Nope. And then True Grit. Okay. Oh, come on. Finally. Okay, that was close. Out of the four cards, three of them hit the Frontliner. Alright. Good thing I didn't take a bunch of damage there. That was a risk to take, though. Alright. Didn't lose too much HP here. Definitely going for victory, although now without potions this might be rougher, especially since I have a lot of skills, so the Gremlin Knob will be very annoying to deal with. I am intangible this turn, that's good. Let's do Barricade and Malaise. Okay, one extra turn of weakness is good. And then probably just focus on attack cards. Okay. Alright, E3, that's going to be a lot of damage to do. Let's do Quick Slash, Dagger Throw. Okay. Um, hang on. What do I want to do here? Let's do footwork while it plants. Okay, I'll keep the um, eviscerate. I do discard enough. Uh, let's keep the acrobatics. Actually, will help with the eviscerate. Yeah, not having any potions is a little rough here. Thirteen incoming. Um, all right, let's do slice, dagger throw. Um, definitely not ba body slam. I'm, I basically I'm not prepared for that. Uh, yeah, the Eviscerate is not going to be enough. Actually, I'm almost dead here if I don't do anything drastic. Tough choice. Let's do the Acrobatics. I'll give him Strength, but, um, I was hoping it'll give me something better. Um, alright, let's do Eviscerate. Hang on, how much is that? 22 out of 23. It's a little close here. Um, let's keep Piercing Well. I'll also keep a Flying Knee. Alright. Okay, 1 HP. If I get a regret, I'm dead basically, right? Alright, I have to try to kill the backliner, which I think is doable. Let's do Seeing Red, Cleave, Flying Knee. I think I miscalculated here, right? I don't think it's doable. Piercing Well, so 6, and then True Grid. I have to get rid of the Juggernaut, unfortunately. Okay, um, none of these, actually. I'm a little on thin ice here. 10 incoming, if I can kill the backliner. And I can't even kill the backliner, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Alright, I think I have to reload, and I think the what happens when you reload is that um, you don't get this event anymore. Let me see. Yeah, basically, but I'll write in the description that I would have I died. Okay, no, I still got the event. So let me try again. I think this time I'll keep the poison potion for the next fight. Because I think that, that probably was... Uh, that's probably a smarter thing to do. Because uh, I think this fight I can survive. The next one is the, the difficult one. So I'll, I'll be right back with the next fight. Okay, so I'm back. I don't think I'll do the barricade again here. I think instead what I'll do is... Um, oh, did I draw a different set of cards? That might have been possible. All right. Let's do Pummel Strike. And then probably just Malaise here. That should help, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, dagger Throw is good. Yeah, I, I basically, the poison will help, but it's not going to save me. Okay, so 15 incoming. Uh, let's do Quick Slash. 
Blur is not a bad idea. Let me do footwork and blur. Okay. All right, so that way my buffer is going to defend me here. Um, you know what? Let me take the Infernal Blade here. Okay. All right, another 16. Let me do Dagger Throw. Yeah, definitely not Body Slam, unfortunately. Do I want to do Infernal Blade at all? It might give me something great. Okay, let's try it. Dropkick. It's not the great thing I was looking for. Thunderclap is fine, though. Okay. Alright, another 12. Let me uh, True Grid the Regret. Okay. And then uh, I have 13. I am fully defended here, so Thunderclap and Headbutt. Actually, alright, so that way I can kill. That's good. And then going forward, I'll just need Block. So, yeah, okay. So somehow I survived this one. Do I have another... Oh, I have an Elite right after this. That might be rough. Well, let's see what I get offered after this fight. Because I am not sure if I'm in the position to be able to fight another Elite here. Especially if it's something like the Book of Stabbing. Oh, I can't even... I don't know why I took Offering. I can't even play that. Yeah, because I'll just die. Um, let's do... Well, I have to do Piercing Whale, Wild Aid Plants, and Havoc. Yeah, I can't even do Havoc now freely because I'll, I'll get the Offering and I will die. Uh, even if I get a Regret L, I might die too, right? Oh, actually, hang on. Let me try to get the uh, Incense Burner on 5, so that the, the first turn in the next fight I'm fully defended and I can play my Barricade. Um, let's do Thunderclap. Let me get him close to death, but not actually kill. Seeing Red Acrobatics. Um, probably uh, get rid of the Barricade, and then I'll just wait. Okay. All right, I'll keep the flying knee so I can actually dagger throw is better, so I can kill if I if I have to. Can I get this to five? It will take a while. Oh no, not not with this hand, with a hand like this. Yeah, all right, fine. I have to kill here. All right, we got dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a round card into your hand. Interesting, as well as the strength potion. Uh, I'll think I'll take the max HP here, and then bottle flame. Probably want to put something zero cost in my opening hand, like slice. Okay. I have to do this, but it might be my death. All right, Book of Stabbing, as I feared. All right, let's drink the Strength Potion. That means I can't do the Barricade because I have to play a defensive card. Let me do Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Slice. Okay, let me see what Havoc plays. Seeing Red is good. Ooh, Limit Break is interesting, it does exhaust. Okay, I need a little bit extra block still. Let me see what acrobatics gives me. Okay, Malaise is pretty good. Actually, Malaise will help quite a bit here. And Massive will stab. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, the Malaise was a big help here. All right, so nine incoming. Um, let me do Juggernaut and Piercing Well. Okay, another Burning Pact. Okay, so 14. I do have my buffer here, uh, which I think I'll use. Let me do backflip, footwork, dagger throw, and then probably body slam at the end. Um, actually, cleave does more damage, right? Let's just do cleave. Okay. Another doppelganger. Uh, let's do prepared because I still have the regret. No. Oh, I, I thought I had the regret still. Okay, 14 incoming. Ghostly armor is good. Prepared. Yep, and then um, let's do Pummel Strike and Shrug it. No, um, no, let's just Shrug it off, sure. Okay, if that was a curse, I would have been sad. Uh, let's do Power Through. I'm dealing damage very slowly. I am intangible this turn, which is good. Let's do Massive Stab, Blur Backflip. Okay, and then Flying Knee. All right. I'm amazed. Can I be perfecting this one? I have a chance. 19. Uh, I think I can. Yeah, I think that's all thanks to the Dead Branch. Perfect. Okay, we've got Molten Egg. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it, as well as a Fire Potion. And um, already have all the plans. Probably not going to go for Finisher. Doppelganger is interesting. Um, now nah, let's take the Max HP instead. All right. Okay, so here I have a shop with membership card. Perfect. 50% discount on all products. Okay. So I definitely don't want the Omomori, right? Because I have three cards and I would like two more. Um, Armament is not a bad idea. Uh, I need a Corruption, really. That's what I need. Uh, distraction. It will uh, exhaust. That's good. Probably don't need Trip. Definitely Meteor on the Bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. 
and then uh, any of the you know what let me buy all the potions here okay and sure let's take the armaments definitely not combust though yeah I think this is a good shop and I still have a bunch of gold for the next one Ooh, regular fight at least I can trigger the meter on the bone if I don't die here which I don't think I will uh, let's do piercing well yeah the lack that the fact that I don't have energy in the first turn means that I it's very hard for me to play the barricade which is sad all right let's do distraction deflect and I'm fully defended here okay um armaments is fine yeah if I can get a corruption I think I saw one on act one uh, or maybe in a shop I don't remember exactly where it was but yeah hard to predict back then right backstab is good I think the Juggernaut is a really good card. I should. I wonder if I should upgrade it. I will heal a little bit with Eternal Feather in the next rest side, right? So I'm not sure if I should actually waste that rest side by upgrading or, or by resting, or if I should just upgrade. Let's see what backstab gives me first. Ooh, definitely can't do the Berserk. I have 20 income. Am I dead here? I might just be. Uh, I think I have to drink the. I should first of all drink the Regen Potion, and let me drink the Swift Potion too. All right, backflip. I'm gonna lose my buffer thanks to the Regret too. Um, let's do Pummel Strike. And then armaments, probably the f Havoc, actually, because then I can play that for free and get nothing useful out of it. That's fine. All right, let's take the uh, Burning Pact here. Okay. All right, I'll take a little bit of damage, but I have a Regen Potion, so I should be fine. Another 12. Um, Malaise is fine. Let's just shrug it off first. Seeing Red is good. Dash is great. Uh, actually, can I just kill? No, uh, let's just do the Malaise here. Oh, uh, I wasn't able to play the Clash anyway, though. And there's the Aftermatch. That should be my ticket to victory here. Um, I probably should get the Incense Burner to 5, just so I can play that... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't want to play too many defenses. Uh, just so I can play the Barricade in the first turn against the Champ. Okay, 8 incoming. Let's just do Deflect, and I'll be fully defended. Okay. All right, and then uh, let me not play too much. I will burning pack the regret though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two more turns. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do barricade. Okay. Corpse explosion is fine. And then, yeah, one more turn and I can kill next turn. Uh, let let me. G well, actually, I can do berserk. I just want to be careful that I don't accidentally kill. Yeah, I think this should be good. And then I can kill next turn. Okay. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's just do Storm of Steel, and then the shift should kill. Alright. Okay, we got uh, Seeing Red, Sneaky, Stark, or Bane. I already have this one. And between these two, I'm not super excited, so let's just take the max HP. And then here, yeah, I'm almost back to full HP, so I don't think I'll uh, rest here. Let's instead... Actually, upgrading the Bear Kid would help. Also, upgrading the Juggernaut would help. But I think... I am intangible next turn, so I don't think in the next turn it's very... In the next fight, it's very important to have the Bear Kid upgraded. So let's have the Juggernaut upgraded first. But then the next upgrade after that should probably be the Bear Kid. Okay, so I am getting attacked. Good. Um, and then I'll do Bear Kid. And I probably won't play the... Well, you know, an extra turn of weakness is not a bad idea fine okay uh impervious dagger throw limit break well i have the barricade out right so impervious is pretty good okay not getting attacked here oh i'm gonna lose my buffer though do i want to do juggernaut no nah, i should do impervious uh too bad i can't do the fiend fire all right losing the buffer sadly let's take the exhume because then i can exhume the impervious again okay 17 Ghostly armor is good. Blur is unnecessary. Let's acrobatics. Uh, I don't think I want to exhume anything yet, right? Uh, yeah, so... Well, I don't have the energy to exhume what I wanted. Actually, I guess I could have well-laid plans and, and kept it. But I think this is fine. Let's keep the piercing well. Okay. Alright. Um, here, let's do power through true grit. Okay. And then uh, predator is good. Alright. I'll keep uh, Concentrate is good next turn. I'm going to draw a lot of cards and let me keep the Parasite because then I can uh, get rid of it with the Concentrate. 19 incoming. All right, let's do Seeing Red. Wait, why do I need that much energy? I guess lots of stuff exhausts. Get rid of these two. All right, Footwork Backflip. Okay, Quick Slash, Cloak and Dagger, Distraction, Bouncing Class is good. Have Actually, no, instead of Havoc, I'll just play the Second Wind. 
Yep. Gives me block and gets rid of one of the curses. Corpse explosion. Infinite blades might be better. All right. So now I just need to draw the um, body slam a few times. Okay, 25. Do I want to do fiend fire? No, actually juggernaut is good here. Let's do juggernaut and then uh, probably just shrug it off. Okay. Impervious is good again. Uh, I'll keep the fiend fire still. Mm -hmm. Intangible here. Uh, let's do ghostly armor and fiend fire. Get rid of another curse. Too bad I can't play any of these. Uh, Carnage is good because it's ethereal, so it'll uh, exhaust itself. Let's keep the uh, infinite blades. Okay. And uh, all right. So body slam is eighty-one. That's not as much as I was hoping it would be. Uh, let me do infinite blades, accuracy, and body slam. Sure. All right. And then backstab is good. Yeah, I'm playing it slow, but uh, I think this should actually wait. This is ethereal, right? So it's going to exhaust. Okay. Another fiend fire. Oh, he's splitting or he's transforming here. Okay. Uh, let me do power through, and then probably just a fiend fire here. Actually, no. Oh. I would like to headbutt the body slam. Nah, let's just do fiend fire. Let's see what I get. Okay, brutality is fine. Adrenaline is great. All right, and then uh, I can't really exhume anything, so let's just do doppelganger. Okay, and I'll keep the seeing red for next turn. All right. Okay, 103 blocks should be enough. How long will it take to get me to uh, to get to my body slam though? All right, let's do Seeing Red, Burning Pact. Okay. And then Impervious, True Grid, the Wound, Infinite Blade 2, and then Shiv. Okay. Yeah, I should be in a good position now. Uh, let's take the Unload. I should be able to kill. Okay, 28. Uh, there's a Body Slam for over 100 damage. Okay, perfect. That also gives me the Overkill modifier. All right, double tab, nightmare or offering. I take too much damage with offering, so I don't think I want to go for that. Nightmare is interesting, but I might just go for the max HP here too. Yep. All right, and then here I would like extra energy. So I'm thinking Philosopher's Stone, get an energy star every turn. All enemies start combat with one strength. Sacred Bark is not a bad idea because I have so much, um, so many orb slots. Actually, that might be better because this gives enemies one strength and I should be fine with uh, three energy. I just need to get that barricade upgraded. Let's take it. So double the effectiveness of potions. So the potion becomes 20 damage, fire potion is 40. And uh, hopefully I'll get some other potions like the um, intangible thing. Ghost in the jar, that's what it's called. All right, two elite paths. If I go on the left early shot, but only two question marks in the middle gives me three four question marks and on the right side it's five question marks but no guaranteed chop i still need two curses though so i'm okay with the five question mark path okay yeah ideally i would get those two curses quickly okay let's do barry no i can't even let's do seeing red and then barricade i should try to get that barricade upgraded um and then true grit yep okay and then i can do a slice all right none of these probably I have good potions, but I'd rather keep them for the uh, elite and boss fights. Okay, intangible this turn. Let's do quick slash pummel strike. And then, uh, well, body slam kills, but I can also do this. All right. I could have played the malaise. Actually, I should have played the malaise. That was silly. And to deal 30 damage to this guy. Um, he's going to deal 30 damage to me. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me just try defending then. All right. I'll also play the... Uh, well, I'm fully defended already, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a bludgeon. I'll kill the frontliner too. Okay. I haven't seen a feed yet, which is sad. Sentinel out maneuver, sword boomerang. Um, do I want max HP? I, well, I have some exhaust energy, so sentinel is not a bad idea. Let's take the sentinel. I should at least get to 35 cards. Upgrade a card, finally. Okay, let's get the barricade upgraded. Mm -hmm. And then here is another shop. Um, let me take the Ori up and pick up, choose and add five cards to your deck. Yeah, it is pretty cheap. All right, let's see. Catalyst. I don't have any enough poison. I might uh, get max HP here. Emulate is pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably take it. Um, here, Iron Wave is fine. Not a big fan. Disarm is good. Flame Bearer is good. And Lex is pretty good. Metallus is also good. Wait, who's my final boss? 
It is time eater. Okay, if it's time eater, I should probably take the metallicize here and here, probably the flame barrier. Um, Iron wave is fine. Emulate is pretty good. And uh, twin strike. No, I think here yeah, I'll take the max HP. All right. Okay, that was a pretty good, pretty good ori there. Um, how many relics do I have? 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. And I'll, I'm guaranteed another 3. So just to be safe, maybe I should get one more um, relic like the Frozen Egg whenever you add a power card into your deck upgraded. But probably not going to take the Rupture. Actually, I have all of these cards except for a Thunderclap. I'll take the Thunderclap. Let's also take the Poisons. Uh, the, the Potions, I mean. Strength, Potion, Poison, and Gambler's Brew. Sure. And then, you know what? Mm, let me take the Frozen Egg. Sure, whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. Why not? There's a chance I might not see any other uh, shops, so I might as well spend all of my gold. All right. Ooh, this is a duplicate curse, though. I have to take it. Also gives me a bunch of gold, so that's good. And hope that I can transform it somehow or remove it. That's going to be tough. Also, my buffer is going to suffer from that. Yeah, that wasn't good. It's fine, though. I should have played the slice there. Corruption, perfect. Okay. All right, so quite a bit of incoming. Let's do seeing red backflip. Okay, intimidate is good. Uh, rage is fine. Cloak and dagger, shiv. See what I get from that. Thousand cuts. Yeah, it's not that useful. Let me still play it though. It's hoping for a way to um, exhaust the sentinel, but that didn't work. Adrenaline is good. Okay. A uh, bunch of incoming here. Let's do Juggernaut. I am fully defended, right? And then Iron Wave. Okay. Losing my buffer, though. Wraithform is nice, too. I haven't seen that as a card reward yet. Lots of cards I would have liked to see that I haven't seen as a card reward. All right, let's do Adrenaline. Thunderclap Cleave. Okay. And then Blade Dance. Um... I'll probably target the midliner since the the other should be dead just by me playing a bunch of cards. Dagger throw. Him. Okay. All right. Um, piercing wall is fine. Okay. Just need to attack the frontliner here. Uh, corruption, yeah. And then distraction, shockwave, acrobatics. Uh huh. Shrug it off. Ghostly armor. Piercing wall. Oh, he's dead. All right. Got a Swift Potion, which I might take over the Gambler's Brew. It's much better than that. Um, dodge and Roll, Poison Stab, Sucker Punch. Actually, Dodge and Roll is pretty good with the um, extra decks that I have from Footwork. Okay, what to upgrade next? Um, Armaments is not a bad idea to upgrade. I don't have a lot of cards upgraded here, so having something that upgrades everything else is pretty good. And then, wait, I already upgraded the Juggernaut, right? Okay, Giant Head. Oh, too bad that I have Barricade and Juggernaut together. All right, let's pick. So let's do Barricade, um, Armaments, and then Slice. Okay. Tile size would have been a good option. After Image is good. Well, now I feel bad for not being able to play the Juggernaut. And two Regrets, of course. All right, let's just play everything here. Pummel Strike. Okay. Um, probably not Rupture, even though I have two Regrets. Let's take the Shrug it off here. All right. Iron Wave is good to have. Maybe I should drink the Strength Potion. I'm a little worried about this fight. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me drink the Strength Potion a little later than usual. But um, here, let's do Thunderclap, Iron Wave, and Quick Slash. Flame Barrier is good. Let's keep it for next turn. And Trigger is good, too. Okay. Mm -hmm, another 13. Uh, yeah, let's do Ghostly Armor, Flame Barrier, and then Malaise. All right, distraction is good. I'll keep that. Tally is also good. Okay. All right, so now the biggest attacks are incoming. Um, oh, yeah, if the trigger was upgraded, I could have gotten rid of the Sentinel, but can't guarantee it now. Um, intimidate. I should burst something like... You know what? Let's risk it. Nah, let me burst dodge and roll. Yeah, that's a lot of block, too. And then I can do emulate 448. Okay. Corruption. There it is. I think with Corruption, I should be fine. Let's keep the True Grid, actually. Mm -hmm. 34. Uh, let's do Distraction. Power Throw is good. Shrug it off. And um, let me do True Grid here. Okay. 
Um, metal size is fine. I'll keep the cloak and dagger. I still haven't seen the body slam, right? There it is. Just on cue. All right, let's do after image seeing red. Metallicize cloak and dagger, and then shiv backstab. Uh, do I want to dual wield the body slam? I won't be able to play all of them though, right? So maybe I'll dual wield brutality instead. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Brutality, brutality, and then body slam. Four hundred ninety-one. Not a bad amount of damage. None of these. I'll keep the uh, Bane, sure. Okay, 44 Corruption, of course, on the bottom, but I think I still play it. Alright, so Ghostly Armor. Yeah, I think now this should be much easier. Um, I can't play the uh, Juggernaut, though. Cloak and Dagger. Shiv. Um, might as well do the True Grid, see what it hits. Okay, well, there goes the Juggernaut. I can do Bouncing Flask. Oh, actually, that wasn't even mine, right. And then Catalyst, after I'll dual wield Juggernaut, sure. Piercing Whale, and then Catalyst. Spot Weakness first. Yeah, I probably don't need another Brutality. Yeah, I think that's overkill. Crippling Cause, good though. Uh, let's keep the uh, Juggernaut, actually. Okay. Alright, I should be fine. I'm just trying to... Uh, I think I need to play more than uh, 15 cards, right? So let's do Flame Barrier. Just play all of my uh, skills here. So, backflip. Is there anything I want to exhume? Probably another skill. Uh, I have to be careful that I don't kill. Uh, let me true grid the reflex. Okay. Then, uh, infernal blade, true grid the barricade. Yeah, I'm just going to play a bunch of cards and try to hit the, um, the limit. Rage is good. Exhume. I'm probably going to exhume more energy, right? So, seeing red. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then true grid something random. Let's do power through. Berserk is fine. Cloak and dagger. Acrobatics. Okay. And then um, I think I'm running out of skills. 16 cards already. Okay. Let's start with the uh, easy attacks like Shiv. Also gives me terror. Very good. True grid. Okay. This is great. Um, let me do battle trends. I think that's my last skill here, right? Or the last thing that does it, that also exhausts. Okay. Metallicize. Look at that energy. All right, and then slice, and he's pretty much dead here, right? 168. Okay, 22 cards. I think that should be enough. We got Kunai. Every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity, as well as a flex potion for 10 extra strength. And uh, I already have the dodge and roll, but um, I already have 60, uh, 36 cards too, right? Let's take the max HP here. Okay, I need one more curse. Otherwise, I'll have neither the curses nor the Highlander modifier, which would be very sad. Okay. Um, do I want to do barricade? I probably should, right? Let's do barricade, slice, um, and then let me do dodge and roll here. Okay. Pervious is good. Yeah, I think I have to play barricade every time. I don't think there's a way around that. Okay, intangible here. Let's do cleave, cloak and dagger. Let's see what the shift gives me. Sentinel, nope. All right, losing my uh, regret. Also, I'm not sure why I took riddle with ult, so that was probably a mistake. I do have a flex potion if I really want to use that. Yeah, I probably don't don't need to. Let's do flying knee, ghostly armor, and body slam. Okay. And none of these. I'll take escape plan. All right. Okay. Armament is good. Pummel strike and this agony flame barrier should help. Okay. None of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the new rose codex also makes it a little hard to uh, play fast because after every turn you have to sort of stop. Emulate, escape plan, escape plan again, thunderclap, and uh, body slam. All right, almost dead there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't believe I can kill him here. All right, let's see. Havoc gives me a whirlwind. All right. Okay, so can't play gamble, body slam, heel hook. Uh, let's take max. Actually, can't play gamble is not a bad idea. Let's take that. And then here I got meal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. And Akibiko, your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. I just realized I already have 25 relics, so I didn't need to buy that frozen egg. That was unnecessary. Alright, next upgrade. Um, probably seeing red to make it easier to play when I draw it and don't have energy. Okay. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, unfortunately there's no other shop left, right? So, 
Unless... Well, I can at least get five curses out of this, so... Yeah, I don't have the Highland modifier, but I do have five curses. That's good. Okay. Alright, and then have to go this way for one more elite. Next, let's upgrade probably something like acrobatics. Okay. Alright. Okay, so, Reptomancer. Um... Definitely want to start with the barricade. Uh, I actually, yeah, explosive potion is great here. Okay, gets rid of the minions. We can do barricade. Uh, armaments, sure. Slice and then lace. Okay. Corruption, yep. Basically, the whether or not I win against the uh, time eater is whether or not I can get a corruption through my dead branch. Um, let's do emulate here and uh, havoc. Okay. I'll probably take an emulate back just to uh, help me with the minions. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, emulate will kill. I do have 24. Yeah, I should be able to play the true grid here. All right. None of these. I'll take Sucker Punch maybe for weakness in case he uh, attacks me. He is 29. Corruption is not enough, right? Uh, I don't really have a choice. Actually, no, I was going to say I don't even um, can use my buffer here. Dodge and roll ghostly armor. Cloak and Dagger. Oh, no, I'm fully defended. Good. Let's do Shiv Expertise. Okay, and then Storm of Steel. Very good. Got, got rid of the Curses. Okay. And then Impervious is free. Oh, yeah. This this developed nicely. Flame Barrier. War Cry. Probably want to play the uh, Emulate next turn. Let's True Good the Grand Finale. And uh, War Cry again. Yeah, still the Emulate. Actually, I can do Phantasmal Killer to make the Emulate really powerful next turn, and Terror. Okay, I think I'm good. Since I already got both the combo and the um, Overkill modifier, I don't need to drag this on for much longer. Oh, wow. Way past the hour mark. All right. We got Bottle Lightning. I'm pick up to the skill, so I should come with this card in your hand. Let me first see if I get can get something good. Well, if I'm not getting the Highlander modifier, might as well take a second uh, Flame Barrier, right? Yeah. And then Bottle Lightning, i probably put a Malaise in my... Actually, no, Seeing Red. That'll allow me to have a pretty good opening hand. Okay, and I'm also pretty happy with my potions, too. All right, so 17 incoming. Let's do Seeing Red first. Then Barricade. Um, probably don't need Piercing Well here. Let me do Iron Wave. Okay. And then Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, Body Slam is good. And Slice. And Massive Stab. Okay, very good turn there. Got lucky. Mm -hmm. Still have my buffer. That's good. 10 incoming. Of course, there is the regret to ruin it. Can get rid of it, though. Let's do Thunderclap. And um, Metal says it'll allow me to not take any damage. Yep. I'll do Malaise. You. Okay. Uh, Crippling Cloud is good. Okay. All right. I am intangible. What do I want the uh, Instance Burn to be at? Probably again on five, right? Because I want the time meter. I want to be able to play that um, barricade in the opening hand without having to worry too much about defense. So, yeah, I think I'll try to get it to five if I can. No promises on that, though. Let's take thousand cuts here. Um, Shrug it off is fine. Probably well eight plants would be the next upgrade, actually. Okay, so 12. Uh, let's do thousand cuts. Bl probably don't need blur. Let's do pummel strike. Okay. Um, none of these. I'll keep the Crippling Cloud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, 13 incoming. Let's do Armaments and Crippling Cloud. Okay. Uh, actually, Distraction is free. I can play Malaise to see what I get. And uh, do I want to do Calculate Gamble? Not really. I will keep it for um, next turn, though. Okay. So be a little careful. The Poison might kill sooner than I want to. 20 incoming. Let's do die, die, die. I definitely want to kill the frontliner. That'll make my life a little easier. Okay. And then uh, let's do footwork, ghostly armor. All right. Okay. And then I think the poison will kill in two turns, right? No, three turns. Okay, so that'll be at five exactly. So let's, let's just not do anything. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll need a little bit extra damage. It's five, right? Okay. Good timing. Happy with that. All right. Okay, Cloak and Dagger drop good True Grit. Uh, none of these. Actually, another True Grit is not a bad idea with the Dead Ranch. Okay, let's upgrade that Well Eight Plants. I do use it quite a bit. Uh, where is it? First card. Okay. 
All right, time eater. Let's see. I think the potions should help me a lot here. 20... Oh, actually, yeah, I'm intangible here. Okay. Too bad I can play both the... Actually, never mind. I can play both the Barricade and Juggernaut. I might even consider double playing the Juggernaut. Yeah, let me do... Actually, it's played twice, right? So let me play Barricade. Then Duplication Potion. Double play the Juggernaut. And double play the Malaise. Okay. All right, I think that's good. Um, and then uh, let me prepare to uh, get rid of this and set up... Oh, I don't have energy. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, disarm is good. Okay. Don't have any block yet, but only six incoming, so that's good. Uh, let's true with the Parasite. Acrobatics. Caltrops is not a bad idea. Um, let me do Caltrops and then... Uh, I don't have energy. I can't believe this. Uh, that's a problem when you don't really have a lot of energy. All right, fine. Just need to draw something good next turn. Or he doesn't attack me next turn. That would also help. Nope, 16. I am fully defended, luckily. I'm going to lose my buffer, though. Uh, fine, let's do uh, the backflip. I'll take the armaments and then... Uh, oh, I don't have all the plans out yet. All right. No buffer. A little dangerous. Distraction gives me... Blur, Crippling Cloud is good. And then another Caltrops, okay. Um, feel No Pain is good. Actually, Feel No Pain is great. Once I get a Corruption from Dead Branch, please. 27. Don't exhaust anything here. Let me do the Swift Potion. Okay. Let's do Armaments. Feel No Pain. True Grit. I think I should be fine here, right? Yeah, and then Ghostly Armor. Yeah, I should be fine. And then I can do a Body Slam. Okay. Next turn I can play three cards. Still don't have my well-laid well plants out, actually. Nine incoming. Three cards. Yeah, well-laid plants, Metallicize, and Dodge and Rolls. Okay. That was good. Uh, cloak and Dagger. Sure. Um, I'll keep the Flying Knee, right? I can hang on to two cards now that the well-laid plants is played. Okay, so now he's going to transform, right? Unless I have something amazing. Also very bad about the incense burner being active now. Uh, yeah, well, actually, I, I can't just gain block, right? Let's do Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger, and then I'm going to play the Shivs in case I get a um, Corruption. Which, you know, is possible, but yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stop here. Another Caltrops, why not? Um, let me hang on to the... Mm, do I need Nightmare? Sure. Maybe I get something amazing, who knows. Alright, 26. I am fully defended here. Yeah, I don't think I need Nightmare. Uh, let's do Blade Dance. Shiv, Shiv. Another Metallicize is not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do Caltrops and another Metallicize. Okay. Uh, offering is fine. Uh, and then I'll keep a Dodge and Roll and Piercing Well in case he does the multi-hit. Yeah, I'm being very careful here, but I think I'm also playing it pretty well here. Uh, unfortunately, if I do Flame Barrier, I will only able, be able to play one card next turn, which is fine. Yeah, I have enough blocks, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Shrug it off, and then I'll probably just play a thousand cuts next turn, why not? Okay. Yeah, it's 30 damage just by him attacking me. Oh, no, 45. Yeah, more than 30. Alright, uh, let's do Disarm. Okay. Um, doesn't matter which one I can pick here, and then keep these two. I still have a bunch of potions. Actually, I can just kill with the fire potion. Alright, I was being overly careful, but um, I think it's worth it. Okay. One hour and nine minutes. That was a long run. Uh, 12.95, not bad though. Too bad about the Highlander modifier. If I got a little luckier, I would have been able to, um, instead of the second regret, get another curse. A unique curse, ideally, and that way I would have gotten an extra 100 points, but that's fine. Um, we got Mystery Machine, perfected 5 out of... Well, actually, yeah, perfected everything, so that was pretty good. Got Overkill and Combo. Yeah, so I missed... I guess it is possible to play this faster. I don't think I could have done it, though. I mean, I, I probably lose, like, 10 to 15 minutes just by talking through what I do. But even if I hadn't done that, right, I still wouldn't have been able to uh, do it below 45 minutes. Who knows? Maybe I could have. Anyway, so that's potentially another 50 points. So that's 1345. But no, I think this is a pretty good score.
All right, so yeah, I'm fifth right now, which is pretty good. I'm very happy with that score. So as I said, if I played faster by about 20 minutes, I would have gotten 1345. That still would have been fifth place. So I do wonder if the people higher up than me were able to uh, maybe just got lucky instead of that one extra regret curse, they got a different curse, which would have put me at 1445. Um, yeah, which would have been second and almost first and then yeah, so I, I do think this score is believable I do I do think the curses are randomized so it is possible to just get the same um, Well run as me, but then instead of the second regret you get a different curse um, But yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with this very very solid score. So thanks for watching. Bye